Hello, my name is Julie. Welcome to my channel. You're watching Treasures Made From Yarn. And in this video, it is, we're showing the Karen on Cinnamon Swirl Cake. So, yeah, first we could look at these nice, wonderful colors. This one is blue. Oh, it's actually, the color is snow cone. So this is a size 4 weight acrylic yarn. It recommends a size H hook. It is machine washable and dryer. Each one is, it's an 8 ounce ball or 227 grams. It's 407 yards or 325 meters. Feels really super soft. So I got this one, set this one. Good colors, a snow cone. I got three here. Another one. Oh, that's pretty colors. Let's see what this color is. Ooh, this color is Citrus Twist. And you get that one. That one's pretty too. This one. Ooh, jelly beans. They look like jelly beans. So we are going to work with this in a minute and a bonus pattern with this video. I grabbed a five millimeter hook. I don't know if you can see that. Because it also recommends it says five millimeter. Alright, I'm gonna make call it dom I think they call it a domino or we can call it a, a do like they, I think they call it a domino square. We'll try the beginning of this. Alright, where's the beginning of you? Alright. beginning of this. Alright, we are going to make a chain of 12. Uh, I'm going to try to make the chain loose because I want to work in the back loop. turn and I'm going in the second chain of hook we're going to do we're working in the back loop I don't know if you can see that but we're going to make 10 single or 11 single crochet so that's two I know back hump is kind of hard. There it is. Actually, I like this so far. I like how the yarns work it up. Hey, right, back hump. Where are you at? That is 11. Oh, we're not going to turn. We're going to do another. We're going to also. We're going to chain. Leather. We're going to make another chain of 11. And we're also working in the back hump. Second single gold chain in the second chain from hook. And across. Oh, 
It's hard to do in back home. Actually, what we're going to do is single crochet. One, two, three, four. Six. Nope, I take that back. We are going to single crochet nine. Because then what we're going to do now is single crochet three together. We don't have to, okay, I'm not worried about putting it in the back hump, but we're going to do, we're going to do single crochet three together. We're going to put our hook in and drop a loop. And we're going to work in the back loop. So this is a front loop, and then there's the back loop. So we're going to put our hook in the back loop and draw up a loop. And then we're going to put a hook in the next stitch, drop a loop, and over and draw through all four of these loops. And we made a chain three decrease. Then we're going to single crochet in the remaining single crochets in the back. We're going to do it the back loop. So that's one. Should be nine. That's nine. Chain one and return. That's what we have there. All right, so we're chain one, single crochet in the back loop in the next eight single crochets. So that's one, two, three, Seven, eight. Now we're going to single crochet again, three together. So we put our hook, hook in the first stitch, draw up a loop. Put our hook in the back loop of the next stitch, draw up a loop. Put our hook in the next stitch, draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through all four loops. And then single crochet in the remaining eight stitches. Chain one and return, and then you should probably get the idea of what's going on here. Yeah, so far I like I like how this yarn is working on. This is a nice acrylic yarn, They're kind of soft. So anyway, to proceed on with our pattern, we are going single crochet in the next seven. So you 
then we see see there we got the three and you know that one is in the corner so we're going to put our single crochet in the back loop drop a loop put in the next stitch drop a loop in the next stitch we drop a loop turn over and draw through all four oops and single crochet in the next seven So you want to turn, and then you go work out your seam. Now you probably cut on the pattern by now. So we are going to single crochet in the next, I think it's six. We're on six now, two. Or are we on five already? I can't remember. Oh, it was right, six. And we're back at the one before the corn decrease. So we're going to do that chain, or three together decrease. Loop. Hit, drop a loop. That one, drop a loop. Yarn over, draw through all four loops. Single crochet on the next six. I think you caught on what we're doing, so I'm going to repeat in this matter until we're down to one. Oh, looks like we're about to change colors. Maybe we'll see the color change. Never mind, let's see our color change here. So we're in a single crochet. I'm still in the back loops. You know, if you do, if you really don't have to do I want to do it in the back loops because it's a fact that you could do this in both loops. Number five, three together. Let's see, I'm crochet in the next five. I'm going to keep going until I'm down to th three, but you can probably see the color change already on this. And I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so I'm down where I have three left, and you can see how the square formed up. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to finish this off by just doing a single crochet three together. Our square is complete. So now we're going to add another square on top. So you do that by chaining one. And then we want to get 11 single crochets over done. So we got maybe two per section two, four, six, eight, and ten. And then the number 11 can go right on the end here. So our section. So we want, like I said, we want 11 evenly crossed. So that's one. And we're going to put the 11th, this is where, this is the corner, where we do our corner decrease. So this is the 11th stitch. We're just going to put it way over here. 
No, what we do, we're gonna, because we want to do the back. See, if we do it in the back hump, we got this nice edge, so we want to crochet another 11 single, or do 11 chains. One, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then working in the back lump in the second chain, we are going to do a single crochet. And we're going to do this for now, we're going to do nine of these. So that's one. We have nine, and then we are back down. We have one chain left. We don't necessarily have to put that one in the back loop for our decrease. We can just go into that chain, draw up a loop, back loop of the next single crochet, draw up a loop, hook in the next stitch, draw up a loop, turn over and draw through all three loops. Like before, we're going to single crochet in the back hump of the next nine. Like I said, you don't have to go. You can probably do both loops, but I like the back hump. nine chain one and turn and we're just going to proceed like before like we did this square so I'm going to make this square that might do one more on top of it and I'll show you how to add chain how to add squares going this way I you know you can see I added another row this way so now I'm going to show you how to add on additional columns <laughs> so, I to try to them. so another section up this way so I'll bring it in a little bit closer all right we're going to find this little corner down here at the end just slip stitch it attach it to the corner Now at this point we're going to chain 11 loosely because we're going to work in the back humps. Oops, there. Three. And we're doing 11 and then in the sec working in the back hump, second chain. We do single crochet. So we're going to do 10 of these. I mean, if it's too hard, I guess you really don't have to do the back hump, but it looks nicer if you're going into the back hump. But I know it's a little more challenging. I think that's a four.
glass back on there. Ten. All right, now kind of back in this corner. This will be like our corner. We're going to put another single crochet. And now, kind of loosely, we're going to up the side of the row. We're going to do ten slip stitches. So we're going to work up. So we got like these ridges here. So I got two, four, six, eight, and then the tenth one here. So like this, we're going to do a slip stitch loosely. One, two, so pretty much two per ridge. Three, four, Ten. Chain one and turn. So obviously this blanket will create an obvious wrong side. Put the slip stitches. So now working through both of the slip stitch, working through both loops of the slip stitch, we'll do a single crochet in the next nine. That's one. You know, this could be, that's why I kind of like loosely. We had screwed up somewhere. Seven. Yes, we had missed one somewhere. Here, we're chain one. We're supposed to have ten of the single slip stitches. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yep, that's the tenth one right there. Okay. Must have missed one. Well, that one's one. Yeah, we want nine single crochets and we're doing both loops of the slip stitch. Okay, no. No, this can be challenging. Okay, that's the ninth one. Move my arms out of the way. Nope. I don't like like before. We're, but this time we can go through the back, just the back loop. Sure, drop a loop. Hook in the next stitch, drop a loop. Next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and draw through all four loops. And we should have a single crochet in the remaining nine. In the back, we're right now back in the back loop. chain one enter and we're going to proceed on with the square as before and then I'll show you what to do with the neck putting on the next square all right so now I'm going to show you how to continue on adding the square I did another one so I'm going to finish up this project and I'm going to show you how to put on additional squares going up here so it'll be like before 
we're going to chain one, and we're going to put ten single crochets evenly along the top of the square. That's two. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we want one for the corner. So there's our corner right there. So we're going to put one single crochet kind of in, try to find a spot in. That's our going to be our corner decrease. So that's there. And then like four, we're going to put single uh, slip stitches, ten of them up the side. So being that this is the top, I want to get it so that the tenth one is more toward the top. So I'm trying to make it evenly, not semi-loose. Not too loose. Slip stitches. Two, three, four, eight, nine, and ten. Now we proceed like before. Chain one. We're working through both loops of the slip stitches. So into the next nine. Um, that's why I like my slip stitches a little bit loose. It's a little hard. One, two, three, four. There's nine. Then we should have one of the slip stitches left. So we will go in the back loop of that slip stitch. Pop a loop one. This is our decrease two. I'm working in the back loop three. Yarn over and go through all four loops. And we continue like before. We're going to so I'm going to show you the next nine. chain one and two. Now I'm going to finish up this square and then we're going to finish up this project. All right, we are at the here. You can probably see more of it. I know, excuse my mess. We have finished up. It's like I want to put a little border around it. We're just going to do a single crochet border to start with. I'll bring you back in. Pretty much across this end, we want actually every square we're going to put in 11 single crochets. So we chain one. Actually, on the corners, we can put three. So we're going to put three in the corner. And then we're just going to put 10 more. This will probably and put, we'll put 10 more in this case. And so that would be... Four. Okay, I did want to get, I would want to get 10 per square, so... 
think that third one. Like I said, we want 11 single crochets per row. So this last single crochet we did on the corner will count as one. Like that. And then plus we want to do 10 more. So that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and we'll try to get the one in between the eleventh one. Kind of be like the one that's in between the squares. Again, we want to do eleven single crochets per square, so that's one. Four, two and three, and that's why when we were in the back loops, we got these nice, it looks like, we got these nice set. It looks pretty, a neat edge for when we're doing, when we do, we were doing single crochet in the back loop, so you're pretty much, we're putting one of these each per stitch in this case. Here we'll hit the one where we did nine. So I kind of want again pretty much eleven on the side. So we'll count this one from the chain three. So we got one, two, nine, ten, and then make one more eleven. We got one per stitch, one, ten, and then being that we're back in the corner here, we're going to do three in the corner. And that last one we just did will count as one. Like it says, we're trying to maintain 11 per square. So we might try to hide the tail in. So that was one. This is looking for that. Two. Okay, this will be 10. We're going to do three of that one. 10. We'll do make one more the 11th one. We'll do one more. I'll go back to the other side and about the same thing. We want 11 per. So we look at all the ridges. So we want like two per ridge. Eight. 10, and we'll put the 11th one right there. So that's one. That is 10. We're going to put our 11th one, like I said, in between the squares. I'll probably put that right there. It's 11. Do another 10. on the other side of the ridge too. Mm -hmm. 
I got my hair. <laughs> All right, so at this point, we are going to finish up doing the single crochet evenly around the entire dishcloth. That is approximately 11 single crochets per square, putting three single crochets in the corner. So once I had finished that up, I did a second row of single crochets. Right, we did two rows. We finished off. We have two rows. I forgot where I left off, so... You don't necessarily make this bigger than you want. You can also, don't necessarily have to use the yarn I just showed you. You can want to color control how the squares come up. You know, just, just, and not necessarily just follow the striping of the yarn. You can color, if you want to, you can color, change colors every couple rows to make it more uniform. Color changes in the squares might make it look cool. So, I'm going to take you up a little bit so you can see what we got. And there you have it. So, make sure you let me know if you've used this yarn and what projects you made with this. Like I said, I'm not sure what... Right now, we showed you... I showed... I like the yarn. I like the colors. So, without further ado, if you did like this video, please get a like. See more content like this. Please subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you always for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye now.